We thank God for His grace and mercy. We thank God for His goodness. We give Him all the praise and all the glory. As He has instructed us to come before Him with thanksgiving and praise. This afternoon, my prayer is that Lord help us, grant us the grace, deliver us from distractions and deliver us from agitations and every heaviness on our heart. That we can pour our all onto you, Lord, and focus on you and on your goodness and on your power. We thank you. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Beloved, this afternoon I just want to, want us to look into our heart and just recall to mind the things that God, this God has done. Sometimes there is this temptation that there is this temptation that we will never be able to remember the good things that God has done for us. We will not pause for a moment and think about what he has done for us. Just because there are so many things which have made our heart heavy. There are so many expectations which have never been met. And so there is that temptation to forget about his goodness. But the psalmist said that, Oh, bless, bless the Lord my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name and said that, And forget not his benefit. Oh, his benefit. There are some benefits. There are some benefits. Many, many benefits. And one of the benefits is that I have breath and I'm breathing and I'm speaking and I'm talking. And he has given me that opportunity, that privilege to even speak to his people, to lead his people. It is, it is one of the greatest benefits that God has given. So look into your heart and begin to thank the Lord for the many things that he has done, the many things he has done. Father, we thank you and we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor and all the adoration. We thank you for our lives and we thank you for everyone connected to us, our family members, our friends and colleagues of God everyone around us and the body of Christ as a whole. We thank you for for your goodness unto all of us. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your mercies. The scripture says that his mercies are new every morning. His mercies endure forever. And by his mercies, you and I are not consumed because when we have faulted and we call on him and say, Lord, show me mercy, he shows us mercy. That he looks upon me with mercy, he looks upon me with grace, he looks upon me with his great love. Father, we thank you. We are so grateful to you, O oh God. In all our days, in all our moments, O oh God, on earth we say glory and honor be unto you. We thank you for the greatest gift that you have given to us, your son Jesus Christ, who came to die for our sins. Uh, and by him we are able to stand, O oh God. By him we have access into your presence. We are so thankful, O oh God, unto you for loving us. And we cannot explain such love. Such love is inexplicable. We can never explain it. We can never describe it. We can never quantify it. And so we say it is unconditional. That you loved me with that unconditional love. You loved me with that great love. I thank you and I give you all the praise and I give you all the glory and I give you all the honor, O oh God. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Beloved, the scripture says in Psalm 103, from verse 4, it says that, Who redeemed thy life from destruction? Who redeemed thy life from destruction? Who crowned thee with love and kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfied thy mouth with good things? Who, so that thy, mouth, thy youth is renewed like the eagles? Oh, what a wonderful, what a wonderful God we have. What a loving Father we have. He says that he redeems us 
He redeemed our lives from destruction. There are so many distractions, beloved, and there were so many distractions that the enemy prepared and planned against us. But this God delivered us. There are so many things that God redeems us from them that we have no idea about. But whilst we are asleep, whilst we are gone, whilst we don't know what is happening around us, God goes all the way to redeem and to deliver us from all distractions and says that he is the Lord God Almighty who redeems us from all distraction. He redeems our lives from destruction. I remember that there was a time that I was riding a bicycle and, and I, somewhere she or she, these cars were coming and somebody, I didn't know, somebody pushed me into the middle of the road and I was going to Legon campus from airport. And before I realized, a hand just lifted me and the bicycle onto the pavement. And I, I did not hurt. And I was like, wow, what a, what, oh, what a save. What a save. What a save. What a deliverance. And God is good. And I saw the reality of this God and the reality of the love of God. And said, Lord, you love me. You just saved me. You just sent an angel to deliver me from death. And there was a soldier man who was standing right by me and said, Are you, you are lucky. Like you will see where you will be. But this was this God, this is this God who, who loved me and still loves me, who delivered me from destruction. That the enemy planned destruction. Maybe there was sickness, but he redeems our lives from such destruction. He crowns us with love and kindness and tender mercies. We give you all the praise for deliverances and all the redemption, O oh God. We thank you for redeeming our lives. We thank you for redeeming our families. We thank you for redeeming our children. We thank you for redeeming the lives of everyone around us, the lives of the members of Liberty Grace Life Chapel. We thank you, O oh Lord God, for preserving and for protecting. We thank you for crowning us daily with, 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 with love and kindness and with tender mercies, O oh God. And by this tender mercies, we are not consumed. Father, we thank you for the forgiveness of sins and washing of the blood of Jesus Christ. We we thank you for speaking for us, O oh God. Oh, we thank you for defending us at all times. We thank you for surrounding us with mercies. We thank you for surrounding us with your love. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Holy Father, there is none like unto you, O oh God. In if you read first uh, Sam first Samuel chapter two, uh, um, um, Hannah after she had delivered a, a baby boy. Which is Samuel, and then and then she began to pray, and she was thanking God. She said that who is holy unto our God, who is holy, like unto this God, there is none that is holy as the Lord, there is none that is holy as you, O God. We praise your name and we magnify you, O God. We lift your name on high, O Lord God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We have nothing, O oh God, to pay for all the things you've done for us and who you are to us, O oh God, than to give ourselves unto you. Beloved, I want us to commit our heart unto this God. Give yourself willingly and holily unto him. That is the greatest gift we can give unto God. Father, we give you our heart. We give you our moment this afternoon. We give you our time. We give you our will, O oh God. We submit everything that concerns us unto you, O oh Holy Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for you are showing up. You show up all the time. And you show yourself strong all the time. And whether it is whether we are feeling good or we are feeling bad, O oh Lord, you are who you are and you will never change. You are good, you are awesome, God. You are great and greater than all, O oh God. You are loving, O oh God. You are
merciful, you are gracious, O oh God, and there is none like unto you, our King and our Rock. And David will say in Psalm 18, he says that he gathered me with strength, and he said by him, I say by thee, I have run through truths, O oh Lord. By you we have run through truths. By you we are escaped from the hunter's trap. By you we are delivered from death. By you we are delivered from distractions of the enemy. By you we are redeemed from sicknesses and wasting diseases. By you we are redeemed from terrors of the enemy. And we say glory and honor be unto you. You alone are worthy of all praise. You alone are worthy of all honor. You alone are worthy of all glory. You alone are worthy of all worship. You alone are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Father, you are worthy. We bow our heart unto you this afternoon. And we say glory and honor be unto you, O God. Be magnified and be glorified and be exalted in every situation, O God. Whatsoever we are going through, we say be magnified in it. We say be glorified in it. We say be exalted, O God, in every situation, whether good or bad, Lord. We say be glorified. We say be honored. We say be magnified and be exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted. Be exalted. We lift your name on high. We lift your name on high. This is our sacrifice sacrifices of praise unto you, O God. And we declare that we will love you, and we love you, and we will love you forevermore. For you are good. You are good. You are good. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. You are good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want us to sing unto God. Oh, yeah. Oya kupon amena peywa ye amena beda wasi amena be Amina Veda Awasi Oya Oya Kupon Oya Oya Kupon Oya Amina Be Amaina Beda Wasi Amaina Be Be Waye Amaina Beda Awasi Amaina be biwaye ama amaina beda beda asi ye ama ina be biwayo. Amaina Veda Awasi Oh Amaina Beiwaye Amaina Veda Veda Awasi Ami Amaina Amaina Beda Beda Wasi 
Yeah, from verse 5 of um, Psalm 103, it says that, Who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord satisfies us with good things. He satisfies our mouth with good things. So when the enemy thinks of, of, of stealing away your testimony, stealing away a word from your mouth, the Bible says that he is the one who satisfies our mouth with good things, so that there will be testimonies upon testimonies filling our mouth, that when we open our mouth, good things proceed, that we can speak good things concerning our lives, we can speak good things concerning others, we can speak good things concerning the situation around us, that we can use those, that opportunity to change situations, that thank you, Lord, for, for, for satisfying our, our mouth with good things. Thank you for putting a new song in our mouth. Thank you for giving us testimonies. Thank you for giving us words to speak. Uh, where, where, where we, where we don't know anything to say, or we don't have anything to say, or we don't know what to say, you provide us with words to speak, Lord. Your name be praised. Your name be glorified this afternoon. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you that you have loved us just as we are. We give you all the praise and all the glory. We thank you. And Holy Spirit, help us, continue to help us, and continue to strengthen us to remain in the place of thanksgiving, and in the place of worship and gratitude and appreciation unto this God. We thank you, Lord, that even it is our heart desire, O oh Lord, that throughout the year, the days of the year, and throughout the years ahead, may we abide in thanksgiving, may we abide in worship, may we abide in appreciation, may we abide in praise. We give you thanks. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Brethren, God bless you so much for joining. And God willing, we will meet this evening to continue. Bye-bye.